Hey OG Tech Game Player Lovers, my name is Guilherme Valtares and you are in the G Tech Game Play channel and we are here today because we just finished to kill that beast, not that beast, but if you don't know me, my name is Guilherme Valtares and I'm the creator of the G Technology channel, the Bondi Pingo channel and the G Tech Gameplay channel and today we are here to continue our mission to zero the game so that's it let's continue so now we are at the grave hot and searching for the war home. Thank you, Dr. Sobek. You can take a seat. What? You're going to thank her after what she just said? Dr. Sobek has made the situation very clear, General, and given us an option. We should all be thanking her. No, oh, it's just... I mean, my God! Maybe take this discussion offline. There's not going to be any discussion. You saw the numbers. Now, Pharaoh, he'll foot the bill, but his money can't buy the time necessary to complete Zero Dawn. That... That can only be paid for in blood. Oh, come on! If we upgrade our fleet, crack the code somehow... Uh... Were you not listening? Robots can't do the fighting fleet this time. When it comes to hacking, this rogue swarm is an apex predator. Anything automated you throw at it, they will hijack and take over. But this... We'd be throwing civilians into a meat grinder. Commanders, the enemy we're facing self-replicates faster than we can kill it. And it eats biomass as fuel. Zero Dawn is all we've got. So we put a railgun in the hand of every civilian strong enough to carry one, show them where the trigger is, and point them to the front? How the hell do we sell that? By giving them something to fight for. Zero Dawn. The top secret super weapons program that will save us. So long as humanity holds off the swarm long enough for Dr. Sobek and her team to finish it. The file I'm sending contains the war plan for Operation Enduring Victory. War plan? This is a war crime. It may be ugly, but it's something. Consider the alternative. Dr. Sobek. I've secured use of a decommissioned orbital launch base outside Bryce, Utah as the Zero Dawn staging area. Plenty of space there. When can you get started? I've already mailed you a list of Alpha and Beta candidates. Most are foreign nationals or subjects of corporate holdings, so extracting them... Leave that to me. You'll get your dream team. Count on it. Then I'll be off. Over. Orbital launch base. What is that? What did these people do? What did Elizabeth do? <sighs> Glad to be rid of that place. Now I just need to find the orbital launch base they talked about. I've checked my data and located the base. That's the good news. And the bad? It's directly underneath the Citadel. The palace at Sunfall. The capital of the Shadow Karja. Not exactly convenient. The palace is crawling with Eclipse agents. Many in positions of authority, all of them wearing focuses. The moment they see you, Hades will too. He'll issue another kill order, and this time, the entire Shadow Karja military will be after you. So, disable their focuses. You've done it before. It's not that simple. 
Too many focuses in one place. Each of them communicating with each other and back to Hades. A whole network of them. Network? What's that? Uh, imagine a vast, invisible web stretched across the land from end to end, connecting focuses together, allowing them to communicate over vast distances instantaneously. All right. So, is there some way to cut the web down? Hmm. Crash the network. Audacious. Yes. There is a way. A weak point in the network. Point the way. <laughs> I'll send the location data to your focus. Head there, and I'll be in touch when you're close with more directions. This Zero Dawn, what sort of super weapon did Elizabeth make? She stopped the machines, but not before the world she knew her civilization ended. Let's hope it won't come to that again. Okay, that's what you know. It's heavy. The world's going white. Now, how am I going to get down from here? Oh, this should be quite the ride. So good. What? do that again if it weren't so much work to get back up there okay. there's a new quest Okay, the main quest is level 20. We are the level 19. Okay, let's fast travel to there. Ooh, it's too many things.
Okay, after two hours, here we are. Kill the machine. That's it all. Freezing tear. And I think I have a quest for this one. Controller when that two second. I'm glad that's over with. Thanks for the help. Okay. Come on over here and have a word. I'm going. Hey, come on, what are you waiting for? Mm. I'm going to let you talk now. What are you doing out here all alone? Where are your men? I'm not going to risk their lives. I don't mind putting my worthless ass on the line, but not theirs. Sorry I had to drag you into it. Uh, don't worry. This is just an average day for me. You know, take down some machines, track some killers. Right. I'd hate to see a busy morning for you. Ready to get started? Tell me exactly what happened to Ursa. Start from the beginning. No one knows for sure. She left in the middle of the night with a few of her best men. Her best men? But she didn't bring you? No. I'd been drinking a lot. You know, maybe she thought... Oh, damn, I don't know. I couldn't hack it. Search parties found their bodies the next day and the corpses of some shadow carja cowards. It was an ambush. The shadow carja are animals. They, they beat her so bad we can't even show her face before burial. I'm so sorry, Ernd. Yeah, well, when I find the soldiers who did this, they'll be sorry too. All right. Show me where Ursa fell, and I'll do what I can to help. Come on, follow me. What? Why would Ursa come all the way out here? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Is this Shadow Karja territory? No. They broke the ceasefire as soon as they set foot in the cliff. Almost there. Hey, this is it, where the ambush happened. Our soldiers have been over it, but maybe that fancy artifact of yours can find a clue or something. Please. I need to find the bastards that did this. These look like drag marks. Did someone move a body through here? What do you see there? This stain forms a line, as if blood dripped off the edge of something. 
like a cart. See? Cart tracks. I think someone moved the bodies here, then scattered them across the field. Wait. Are you saying the dead found here were killed somewhere else? But why would the Shadow Karja do that? At this point, I'm not taking it for granted that the Shadow Karja are responsible. Of course they were. Well, let's follow these tracks and find out. I'll find a use for you. I get why they wanted Ursa dead. But why fake an ambush? There's more to this. And we're gonna figure it out. These guys aren't Shadow Karja. They're from my tribe, the Asaram. Is this how your people usually greet each other? Calling in machines. Get ready. Machines. Here's a little something for you. Let's go. 
Asaram, not Shadow Karja. Looks like I was wrong about everything, as usual. Please, use that second sight of yours. I have to know what really happened. I'm on it. look like vanguard weapons. There's no blood on them. Versus men didn't fight back. So much blood. A lot of people died here. A massacre. What are those leather straps? Armor straps. Cut with a knife. And a rock with blood on it. This is Ursus' helmet. I thought she died in the field below, but must have been here. All this trickery. For what? Feels like it's just a torch in me. I have a theory. But it takes a little imagination. So far, your theories are better than other people's facts. All right. I think the Asaram ambushed Ursa and her men with a new weapon. They mounted it, on that tripod up there. It fires waves of force, maybe sound. Looks like it cracked the stone there. I think it paralyzes people instead of killing them. It dropped the vanguard right there. No blood on their weapons. No fight. Then why paralyze them if you're only gonna move them and gut them? They were trying to hide something. Look here, a bloody rock. That they used to smash Ursa's face in. Or someone else's. These leather straps have been cut. As if they took the armor off someone. Uh, that, that can't be. Her body is, is lying in state in Meridian. I saw it. You said she was unrecognizable. Maybe they switched another body into her armor. Someone around the same size. And mutilated it enough. So it could have been anyone, even Ursa. Go back to Meridian. Take another look at that body. If it's really Ursa, of course I'm wrong. But if I'm right... Then, then my sister could be alive. I, I, I'm going. Meet me back there when you can.
Interesting. So, maybe his sister is still alive. So I think it's it, guys. It was a fun. Save these for the trail. It was a fun game. And now we are going to finish this game. And we are gonna continue and the next episode. Thank you very much for everyone that oh, it's so beautiful here. That's it. Thank you very much for the time that we spent together. I see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.